Hey guys, Brett Rasmussen here. Today I'd like to go over some tips with you about extending your belt life, providing you uh, ideas to uh, make those belts last longer. We're creating three short videos and in the first video, I, I'll discuss how to load your snowmobile onto a uh, sled deck in an effort to uh, reduce damage or possible damage to your drive belt. In addition to that, uh, we'll talk about rider behaviors that will extend your belt life as well. Oh, and before I forget, I would like to invite you to subscribe to our channel. A commonly used acronym that we'll be using throughout this video is CVT. It stands for Continuously Variable Transmission. The primary clutch, the secondary clutch, and the drive belt. Okay, so the key to loading your sled is to be smooth, create enough momentum that you can almost coast up the ramp. Uh, damage to your belt occurs when you actually come to a stop or slow down and then reapply uh, throttle and it'll grip the belt and create slippage and one thing and another. So uh, as I demonstrate to you, I'll try to be smooth. That's the focus. And then the other thing is always keep your finger on the brake. As you glide up the ramp, you need to be able to check your speed when you reach the top. Now let's talk about riding behaviors. Be sure to release the parking brake before you drive off. Typical scenario, stop for lunch on a slope, the sled's creeping a little bit, so you engage the parking brake. After lunch, you forget to release it, start the sled up. When you go to accelerate, the clutch burns the belt up because the track won't turn. So uh, we just intentionally uh, roasted this belt by going full throttle with the uh, brake fully engaged so the track was locked up as if maybe it was stuck or wedged or something. I just wanted to be able to show you what happens and uh, the belt sucked down into the secondary. Um, the force of the primary clutch um, pulled it down in place. We'll go ahead now and pull the belt off and I expect that we'll find a narrow spot worn into it. I can see black rubber stuck to the uh, clutch flanges that we'll need to clean off. And you can see, you can feel it more than you can see it, but right here is the narrow spot that has been worn into this belt. It's worthless, it's no good at all. If we put this on and run it, it would set up a severe vibration in the clutch system and you'd feel it in the handlebars and running, and running boards. I'm leaving you with a few tips on how to improve belt life. We discussed loading using a ramp and some rider behavior improvements. Thanks for watching. I'd love to hear some comments about our video and stay tuned for part two.